hi everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel and for today i will be teaching you how you can go about modeling a structural rc slab with start rcdc so before you go ahead to design the first thing you should have done is you do the model the loading and the analysis right here in start pro vi and then when you are done with the analysis because without the analysis you can't go ahead with the design the rcdc is mainly for the design it's basically a template you are not doing much there you just go there and design so you have to do the analysis and everything here so we are transferring this to start rcdc so make sure you've analyzed that's the first thing another thing is you should be very certain of the name you use for saving the file so the name of this file is gift house the third thing is you should know the location where this file is saved you can see so this is where the file is saved so if that is okay then um you are good to go so you can just close it you have to close start pro vhi before you open start rcdc if you don't close this you will not be able to work with that so you have to close it don't minimize okay so if that's done then you come to start rcdc then you open start rcdc okay so this i'm going to name it slab design slab design here i'm going to name it youtube viewers and this i'm going to name it read one titian then you select the file here no not the binocular um that should be not this that should be gift house here yeah. then open gift house we've done uh, i made a video where we did this binocular so you can use the same method to analyze the binocular you are not doing anything special it's just a template all right so click on open then we are designing the slab for so go to slab then i'm designing the slab at the three meter level you know we have several levels the zero level three meter level six meter level nine meter level so i'm designing this slab okay so if you see at the at the right here you have the ge and you have the slab so if you click on this window you can zoom in and see the name you can see the beam the beam one beam two beam three beam four up to you know just the ge and then that's all so if you look at this, this is the name of the slab s1 to s15 this is the long short span this is the long span this is the span type which is two way and then you can also change this if it is um you can change it if it is okay interior just double click if it is one shot but this will always be correct you don't need to bother yourself but in case it's not correct just do the needful all right so that is number one thing another thing you should do is you should save your file first because you need to save the file so let me name it as gift slab gift slab all right then i want to save it i can also save it under the section and save it all right so this drawing definitely you know this drawing you will need it in your detailing wherever you want to you know your structural drawing this is the this is the layout this is the plan layout this is the general arrangement so you can also save this file click here you can see it is different when i want to save the old file this is where i clicked to save but when i want to save just this drawing this is where you save you can save this as dxf you can see dxf so that i can import to autocad and then you print it later on on your mba4 paper so let me say this is the ga you can save this as txf you know okay so that is it and then after you are done doing that so you will give it an imposed load imposed load here simply means the the dead load all right so if the thickness no before i give it the imposed load, let me give it the thickness i want the thickness to be 150 mm 150 mm and i want it to be 150 mm for this for this for this for this for everything so i'll just copy this then you highlight all these boxes then you paste so you can see everything now is 150 there is cut out this is cut out that's telling if you want to have a cut out let's say at this slab this is um slab six right let's say there is a staircase here so you don't need a slab here there should be a cut out so if that's the case you just click on true then you see there is a cut out here all right let's say the same thing goes for here too so you see here true okay so you can see there's a cutout at both ends so that is what this is then the imposed which is the live load 
if the thickness is 150 mm and the unit width of concrete is 24 kN, then that will be 3.6 kN per meter squared. Yeah, let me add the other loads of finishes and everything. Let me assume everything is 4.6 for the dead load. So you say 4.6. Alright, then I'll copy this and then it will be the same for all of this. So that's what I'm trying to say that Cyrus is basically um, a template for you to design hmm? and then it will bring out the real detail for you. And then the live load, um, this is just a residential building. So I'm using 1.5 kN per meter squared. So you copy and then you do the same thing. Highlight all of this, then you, you paste. Okay, so if this is done, that's good. Then you come to settings. So under settings, you go to design parameters. Under this, it will ask you if you want to curtail your bar or you want to bend it up. Usually, I like using the bent up bars. All right. So the rebar for the preferred diameter, I'll use 12 mm. So it's going to use 12 mm for me and the preferred spacing, I want 150. All right. So it's the bent up location. You can just leave this as L over 6. These are more like the, these are the span depth ratio for cantilever 7. Simply, these are you can leave this as a um, constant. Then the concrete grid for the slab, I want to use 25 and this I want to use 410. Then the cover, let me use 20. Then the minimum thickness, let that be 100. The river spacing, just leave this. Then the round off figure, let this be 25. You understand? Let this be 25. The round off figure is, for example, if you have um, a spacing, let's say a spacing of, you know, you want to be, have your spacing like 150, 175, 200, 225, 250. You know, that is 25 round off value. That is more meaningful because 25 is one inch. And whosoever wants to work on side, even if they want to work with inch, they'll be able to work with 25 mm. But putting it in five, that is not really achievable at times. All right. So leave that as that. And then you come to rebar mark, uh, rebar mark manager. Then for your main reinforcement, instead of Y, you can change it to, instead of T, you can change it to Y. All right. Then this ads we don't use ads actually you can just put iphone understand so you can see it like this all right and then this center to center you can leave it like that so just make sure this is it, like this so if that's the case then open clear on okay then okay so still come to setting then you go to um you can leave this and if you like you can go out with this so if that is done then you just go to design then you say auto design yes Okay, so this is the design output. So automatically, every beam here passes. If we do, if we, if any of them failed, you will have seen uh, a pop-up that says it fails. Then we will redesign. All right. So everything passes. How about I? Let me cancel these design outputs. Let me cancel it by saying I want to show you how you can fix it if it fails. Let's say this slab four. Let's say slab four. The thickness is 70 mm. This is thickness 70 mm. And then let's pick another slab. Let's say this one is 70 mm. So I'm hoping the 70 mm will fail. All right. So let's design. Oh, the 70 mm is so small. So it's not even. So let's use 100 mm. Okay. So let's design. Even the 100 mm passes. <laughs> Understand? So I'm just let, let me. Why can't I use? I want to use a particular thickness. I'll fill. Okay, then let me just increase the load. Let me increase the load. Where's that 100 mm? Let me increase the load to about 50. Okay. Then this other one. Let me increase the load to um 50. Okay. So that's good enough. The settings, your settings will still be there. You don't need to um, bother about it. You understand? So now let's design. Aha. Now you can see that two slabs have failed. You have slab four and slab 11. They failed. So this is how you are going to go about changing them. On slab four, just right click, then you say design. All right, say design. So when you are here, then you can change the thickness to let's say 150 if 150 thickness can take that then you say um design then after that then you see this click on accept 
okay it has passed with 150 mm thickness so this you do the same thing here just say design then let me change the thickness to 150 so the thickness then you click on design then you say okay i accept then it will it will do that for you all right so that's how you go about designing then you can come to reports to see um your general arrangement plan that's not a big deal we've seen that before you understand so you can see the thickness 150 150 so this you can have you can just save this as autocad file now you can save this as autocad file okay so it, it has taken away all this so you can save this by clicking here and then you save it as dxf all right so and then another thing you can check let me close this one another thing you can do you can still do the implant detailing that is the detailing all right so it will show you the details so you can see this is how the detail looks like it is kind of different from the detail you are used to but it's still the same thing you can see so at the top here you can see you have a top bar so this is your top reinforcement that is the support reinforcement and here from here up to here you have your um span reinforcement and then on top of this beam you can see you have a support reinforcement um here as well you have the um span reinforcement and it goes up so you have it at the top here too so that is um the detailing all right so you can as well see um a section you can take a section can cut a section so let's assume that i want to take a section throughout all of this place all right i want to take a section throughout all of this place so that means i'm taking a section around beam 23 26 29 32 35 and 38 all right so that is from 23 so what you are going to do is um you come to report then you go to slab section so number of slabs how many slabs do i have there this is one two three four five so i'm cutting the section around five slabs so you see five right so it's going to bring this there was the name of the section let me name it section a all right so slab was the first slab around here that's s1 so you click on this okay i'm taking a section around s1 so that's how you take a section s2 then this one s3 then also this slab s4 and then this la last one that's s5 all right okay so when you do that automatically it will fill in the short span and the long span because it knows it all right then the left support now for slab one what is the support at the left you know this is slab one so you can see this is the support at the left that is what b23 so say b23 okay what is the width of b23 that is 230 mm for the beam and what is the depth that's 450 mm that is the section of that beam at, that is supporting it at the left okay so and then it says what is the right support at the right what is the support it has that is beam 26 so the support is beam 26 what is the width of beam 26 that is um 230 and what about this 450 so automatically it knows that what is at the right of this will be at the left of this so you won't be able to change anything here so let's try you see i'm trying to press something here it won't change but look at here you can see yeah 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 so it can press here okay so what is at the right of beam s2 of slab s2 this is at the right of slab s2 so that's p29 and what is at the right of s3 itself that's 32 b32 then the next one is b35 b35 then the last one is b38 b38 okay so they have the same thickness let me just copy this Control c then i like all of this Control v okay so copy this Control c the highlight of the cell control v so they all have the same section so if that is done then click on draw so it's going to draw the section for us so you can see so this is the section you can see this is the section of the slab you can see beam 23 and then you can see dimension of beam 23 230 by um 450 okay this whole thickness is not written there that's not a problem though but you can see your slab so this is how your slabs look like this is the section of the slab and then you can see the the dimension and everything very clean and clear okay
so that is very clean and clear so other things you can do um you can check your design summary uh, your design calculation you know if you want to see the calculation for all the slabs you can just click on all slabs and then click ok so you're going to see the design calculation you see slab design youtube viewers with transition so all the design calculations you understand your design moments your spam moments your everything you can see so easy to read you can see so easy to read so this is how the design calculation looks like so and then you can check your bill of quantity you know you can just do all that so that's the end of the so you can also save this as i said you save it as um your dxf so that leads us to the end of the design of a slab using start rcdc thank you